Hey guys, it's caffeine injected. Um, in my quest to find something to keep me busy until until Pantheon Rise of the Fall and comes out, I've decided to uh, play some Guild Wars 2. Um, I've jumped around, played different games. I haven't found anything that's really uh, kept my interest. I get a little tired of doing the leveling in uh, Vanilla WoW and Burning Crusade WoW. I just, you know, I've done that stuff so many times. So I decided to play a game that I do actually like. <clears throat> I like Guild Wars 2, but I never played it a lot. The highest level I got in a character was level 50, and that was, you know, years after it had been out, and they gave me a lot of, you know, give all those boosts and stuff that you get um, from, like, being at logged out for, like, six months and come back, and they're like, oh, here's a, here's a boost for 10-level boost or something. Boost right to level 30, so... Even though I was level 50, I wouldn't call that a real level 50. So I thought I'd try it out again. I love, I think Guild Wars 4 has got a lot to offer. Um, I think it's a great game. So here we go. We're going to create a, a human guardian. Because I really like the guardian class, and it's the only one I kind of know. So we're just going to go that route. And you can see the guardian's are very cool looking. The, the uh, graphics of the game, the art style, is one of my all-time favorites. Just absolutely love what they've done with the graphics. Um, the armor's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's, it's nice. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're just going to whip through this. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I set this up because it takes me a long time to do this sometimes because I want to get it just right. I'm kind of stupid that way. I will be right back. All right. So we've come up with this kind of interesting look. We've picked the Congress Pauldrons. We're going to select the Trouble Follows Me, but I use my my dignity. I'm going to make this a goody-goody two-shoe type character. I was raised among nobility. Uh, I've never searched, uh, I never discovered, recovered my sister's body. She was killed in a raid on her village. It was terrible. We use the goddess Cormier as our patron saint of courage and everyday righteousness of heart, mind, and action. Now we need a name. What are we going to call ourselves? Oh, what are we going to call ourselves? Are we going to go with the old standard cute faith, which I've never been a big fan of that name, but that's what people tend to recognize me as. Oh. Let's try. Well, I know faith's going to be taken, right? <laughs> no way that name's not taken. All right, cute faith. All right, here we go. No, I've left just the in-game music on. I haven't turned on any other. The human race once ruled Tyrion. I don't even remember this cut this at all, so this is really cool actually. I love the art style in Guild Wars 2. We struggle to hold our ground. It's one of my all-time faves, if not my favorite. We've been defeated, driven back. still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the six gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in divinity's reach. The city is my home. I was born into luxury. A noble of divinity's reach, and privilege comes I'm rich. with responsibility. What can I say? I protect the commoners under my care. They believe in me. I'm grateful for their trust, and I will not let them down. Today, I plan to venture beyond the gates of the city and see the world for myself. But when I arrived in Shamor, I found the town under siege by centaurs. Mm. Just evil centaurs. Innocent Ooh. creatures are in danger. Someone has to help. That's where I come I'm in. Sure the people that we can triumph, that there is still hope. There's faith. I'll give them hope. How cool is that? Is my story. How cool is that though? The art, throwing my character model in there and everything is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, when this game came out, I mean, it was a while ago, like 20, 2012, maybe? 2013? I mean, it was the bomb. I mean, it was everybody was looking forward to Guild Wars 2. I mean, everybody thought this was like the WoW killer and the game. And it was to some degree not the WoW killer, but the really, I don't think since 
this game came out, I don't think any game's really been as good, probably, as far as, like, implementing a nice combat system, a nice art style, um, and a nice story, you know? So, all right. Okay, let's see if we can turn these. Oh, one second. There we go. Luckily, it, it saved all my keybinds and everything, which is nice. Camera's a little too fast, though. Let's fix this real quick. There we go. Okay, now if I can just get rid of this. All right. Okay, let's look at the mini map. There's a little arrow on it. Maybe that's telling me where to go. See that green arrow? Because I don't remember. Uh, I'm hoping this is where I'm supposed to go. Do I even have a weapon? Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, so I have... Oh, I do. Wait, equipment, right? So I do have a, a mace. So let's... So I got a mace, no shield. Oh. Don't really have much in the way of combat abilities, though. Oh, look, we got a friend. Look at that. Is that a real player? Oh, can you, like, create multiple names? Oh, well, too late now. <laughs> oh, look at how cool the sky looks. Isn't that beautiful? The lightning and the darkness. Let's see if we can turn the graphics up. Right now I'm at, uh... Looks like I'm pretty much at medi medium. Uh-oh. It's probably a gold seller with a name like VBN C C C C C C C C C. Okay, so I don't know. Let's let's turn off my mouse. Like, what is this? Shelter block block attacks while healing. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. I don't know what that keybind is, so <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. Uh, options keybinds. So it's we're gonna find Shift A. Okay, it's Shift Space. All right. And control middle mouse click will put me in mouse look mode. So got kind of an action camera here, which is nice. Alright. We're gonna have to turn the music off. That's really annoying. Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thacker is calling for reinforcements at the garrison. Ooh. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed divinity's reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar bless you. Whoa. I'm so cool. I am cool. I'll go. Leave it to Faith. All right, so leave it to cute Faith. Okay, let's get, let's get rid of the music here because this is killing me. So we're going to go into sound. Uh, music, 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 music. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, the rest of this is probably okay. And then we'll get out of here and we will turn on some other music okay all right now I'm supposed to go somewhere so I'm looking at the mini map again <laughs> now is there a sprint doesn't look like it I only I only have two skills heal myself and attack <laughs> I remember this now I remember walking down this path look they've look at the graphics though I do not remember it looking this lush like the colors are absolutely beautiful I wish my girlfriend was here because she loves stormy skies like that let me uh, I did wanted to I did want to uh, my computer's gonna it's better than the one I played when I put this game before so let's see if we can turn up these these graphics a little bit um, let's go to LED distance yeah mediums fine reflections all textures let's let's click let's kick the textures up to high and shadows high and shaders high. Uh, all this looks okay character model in the medium let's go to high and is there a save button? I have no idea if it actually saved it. Let's take a look again. Options. Okay, textures high. Yeah, it looks like it saved it. But I'm only getting 23 FPS. That's not good. So let's... let's. <laughs> this is an old computer, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been wanting to buy a new computer for the past, like, three years, honestly. And uh, every time I get to the point where I'm going to buy a new one, something else comes up. Like, I've, I've moved, like, three times in the past, like... I think I've moved three times in the past three years. 
And every time I move, I'm paying for moving costs and then buying new furniture. I bought a you know fifteen hundred dollar couch when I moved into this place. But I will be getting a new computer with my next bonus. Unfortunately, that's not for oh, geez, not for another like eight months. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so we're gonna take the uh, character model limit, pick it back down to medium. Let's watch this FPS and see if we can get it. See if we can get it down a little bit, or a little bit up. I mean, shadows. Let's go to where was it? What was it? Textures, textures, environment, medium, medium animation. Where, where's the textures? There it is. Textures is always one of the biggest hitters. It still says it still says 19 FPS, which really surprises me. It doesn't feel bad. Okay, let's see if I can turn. I think there was an F option to turn FPS on. Let me see if it's F11. No, F11 is general options. Uh, let's turn this off. Options. Okay, 28 frames is not very good. Let's take shadows to medium. I hate turning this stuff down because it looks so it looks so nice. Um, we'll do for the LED distance. We can put no. We don't. We don't mediums as low as we want to go. Depth blur. Vertical sync light. Oh, vertical sync. Synchronize the module for free. Helps eliminate tearing effects. Yeah, vertical sync is usually good. Hmm. Motion blur is what. So we're sitting at 27 frames. Oh my god, oh my god. Character model limit. Low. Medium. Well, it doesn't feel bad. Let's just leave it the way it is. But 27 frames is not very good. But since I'm looking at the screen and it doesn't feel bad, let's take some of these guys out if we can. They're quick. Don't you run away from me! Alright, I think we'll just go this way from her. Yeah. I can't wait till I can get a new computer and I can play a game like this and just crank the details up. But even like the, the, the text above the above the NPCs. I say the only thing I've seen so far that I would love to see uh, changed is the health bars. Like the see the health bar above the P players? I'd like to see those bigger. So far, that's all. Everything else looks really nice. Here, I can feel the, the sluggishness of it. Let's look at the uh, the frames again. Yeah, see, it dropped about five. There's another wave coming. Oh boy. We're supposed to talk to somebody here, aren't I? Let's see where he's at. Get off of this ladder! I got stuck on the staircase. I'm actually really surprised that I wasn't able to turn the detail up higher. I've got a pretty decent video card, so 1060, it's not bad. Mm. Oh, I'll defeat you. You gonna run away? Get your ass back here! <laughs> yeah, I remember this part from when I played it before. <laughs> what is that thing? It's huge. That's what she said. Alright, here we go. Keep my heads down. It's pretty hard to watch out for debris. Let's get over here on the same one these guys are on. Oof. Not sure how we're supposed to dodge that debris. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Ooh, bastard. <laughs> Logan Thackeray. It's gonna explode! <laughs> well, Bandicam says I'm at about 30 FPS, but... 
Uh, I'll try to adjust the settings here. See if we can get a little bit better frame rates. We might have to turn some stuff down to low. Eh, it is what it is. Where am I? What happened? You were injured when the elemental exploded. Captain Thackeray brought you here personally. You've been unconscious for three days. You had lots hmm. of visitors. Villagers you rescued, some no. Sarah, even a noble from the city. He came by several times. That'd be Lord Farron. He's a good friend. I'll check in with him once I'm fully recovered. What should I do now? Fresh air and exercise are the best medicine. The goddess Duena helped you. Perhaps you could help others? Thanks, I will. And thanks for taking such good care of me. Bless you. You'll find plenty to do out in the valley. May Duena protect you. Oh. Defending Shamor completed. Ooh, symbol of faith. Okay, let's see what this that they gave me. They gave me some sort of a mace, which is better than my current one, right? Just barely equip. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what this does. Uh, smash a mystic symbol onto the ground that damages foes. I think it's interesting in Guild Wars 2, there's all these little tooltips. And like normally, like tooltips are kind of annoying, but these are really cool because they give you so much information and there's so much variety. So nothing about Guild Wars 2 combat system is there is a lot to learn. It seems simple and you can just button mash and do fairly well. But if you really look at what, what all the tooltips mean and how the skills work together, you can really um, perform at a much, higher, uh, a much higher skill level or a much better level. Let's go take a look at the... Uh, the scope beyond Shamor a crited bread basket. The telescope. Since the centaur attack, citizens are trying to rebuild their lives. But it's tough with bandits and dangerous wildlife roaming the area. Don't wait for an invitation. Jump in and help them. So we're gonna jump in and help these people, right? And I thought it was cool that we saw other people, you know, other people my level. So you know you play a game like this, it's so old. Sometimes, you know, you're a little worried it might be completely dead, but there was people and this is a waypoint. Waypoints appear on your compass, which is in the lower right corner of your screen. You can also see them on the world map, which you can access by pressing M. Press M again to close the world map. Okay. Teleport to a waypoint. I know how the waypoints work. Um, but what's this guy keep following me for? What is this? The fields beyond Shimmer No, are this. Oh, it means that they're in per currently into the uh, doing what I was doing. They're like busy or something. Um, ooh, look at the waterfall. Wow, I don't remember that being here before. Yeah. Maybe I should join the bandits. Maybe I should join the bandits? You mean like on a easy <laughs> Right now I'm just kind of taking in the environment. Um, okay, so we are going to look at our settings real quick, and then I'm going to pause the game for a little bit. I may even put this video up there. So what I'm going to do with this video series, I actually really am enjoying it so far um, because I haven't played Guild Wars in a long time and I'm kind of excited um, because I, I've always enjoyed playing Guild Wars, but I've never really put forth a lot of effort to really stay in it. I, I'll play it for a week or two and then I'll quit. You know, I never could stick with it, but there's really nothing else out there I want to play right now. And I've tried playing other games and they've been big disappointments, really big disappointments. And I know this game I, I like, so if I, I'm going to kind of, no matter what happens, I'm going to force myself to level. And I've never been past level 50, so... You know, and I think what's go up to level 80, and then there's the expansions, and I've never purchased the expansions. So there's a lot of content to go through. I don't remember really hardly any of it, and the story I don't remember, so I'm going to try to follow the story as much as I can, and I'm going to try to record everything. Like, in, when I was leveling on Vanilla WoW, sometimes I would do crafting and different things like that, and I wouldn't record it, or I would go through a dungeon, and I was tired, or I was sick, and I'm like, but I'm going to try not to do that this time. I'm going to try to record every single minute that I'm in this game. I'm going to try to record it, so it's all there on YouTube for anybody who's interested. It's just because I think it'll be fun to try to include everything. So first of all, let's look. It says we're only getting 19 frames, which is really surprising me. And the other thing I might try and do is overclocking my CPU, which my, I am able to overclock my CPU uh, a little bit. I think I can put, it's already overclocked a little, but I'm gonna try pushing it up a little bit more. So let's see if we can get these frames up a little bit. So first off, let's go back to the graphics and let's just turn the uh, standard model water animation you turn the environment. I hate turning the environment down, but the, really the textures is the biggest bang for your buck, right? Turn them up. But low looks really ugly, so let's not do that. Shadows. We'll do low on shadows. 
Post processing, let's go low. Still says we're just at 19. My girlfriend's home, so I'm gonna pause the video. We are back. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I had, my girlfriend got home, Amber, and I had to help her clean the litter out. Oh, but see, the graphics look pretty good. So we're at 22 frames. This is surprising. My old computer ran better than this computer. The only problem is my old computer, which I had for seven years. Um, the USB port just blew up. I mean, it literally exploded. Fried the whole motherboard. So I bought this computer as a temporary solution, not thinking I'd still have it to this day, and I've had it for like two and a half years, and I'm really mad. Long story short, I've, I've been wanting to replace this, like I said before. Anyways, so let's see if we can, uh, if there's a few other things here we can change. Uh, character model limit, no. Ambient inclusion increases contrast and detail by applying ambient. That's fine. Uh, override the default texture filtering use the best. Let's see what this does. Oh, God. All right, okay, we're, gonna, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to go with this right now. This is pretty decent. Um, feels pretty smooth. You know, doesn't feel bad. All right, let's grab a... So there's a little bunny. Do you see the bunny? Ooh, little bunny. Okay, what is this person doing? Why does he have an apple over his head? I don't know what that means. All right, let's look at the mini map again and see what we're supposed to do here. We can let's go into the city real quick. Um, I'm actually going to stop this video and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And I want to uh, I want to do a few settings on my computer to see if I can boost up the power on my uh, video card and my CPU. And, but before that, let's go ahead and check out the city. Another thing about Guild Wars 2 is look at these buildings. I mean, you know, they, they do the thing that I don't like, which is I can't really walk into these buildings. You know, I hate it that they put all these buildings in these games and you can't really go in them. But, so bad once you get past all the but still, I mean, the flower. Look at the, I love how the textures of them. And, you know, they, they took the time to really put a lot of uh, texture painting into these things to give them shadows and dirt to make them look dirty and like you know worn I mean, it was a beautiful archway just a really great job in the art beautiful and i don't normally like big huge doorways like this into a city i always think it's kind of like well what who would build a city this big i mean that's massive but apparently someone did <laughs> now we're going to come into divinity's reach which i think is one of the coolest uh cities in any mmo i mean honestly i think it's one of the most beautiful cities in any mmo um you walk in here and you just start, what is this? I'm not sure what these things are. I don't know. I'm so lost, I haven't played this game in so long. Um, but you walk in here and you just see these flags waving. And you see all these flowers you know, going up the sides. It's just amazing. And it's in the detail. There's quite a few NPCs and stuff placed in here. So, um, let's... Let's go up to our, to our, well, let's look at our inventory real quick. There's nothing in it, so. Um, I don't have any money, do I? <laughs> so I guess the question here would be, could I send some bags from my other character to this character? That would be kind of nice. Um, or do I want to level the hard way and just do it without having any bags? And I've got all these weird things still. I guess these are count bound. So if I, if I look at these, what are these, like? Uh, now available. This episode has been permanently saved to your account and will be playable once you purchase Path of the Fire. Okay. And then there's this one. Login rewards. So I get a login reward, I guess. So what is this? They're going to give me four tombs of knowledge. If I... If, I, if um... <coughs> Chest of Loyalty, double-click to open, contains permanent 2% increase to account gold found and choice of ascended crafting materials. <laughs> Uh, let's not worry about that just yet. Let's... Okay. I... Don't really know what happened there. I guess I did click okay, so it... <laughs> but, again, you know, this, the city's really cool. You know, all these really tall buildings. But the bank's up here. I do remember where the bank is. So we're gonna go to the bank. And I do think the banks that... I think they're cross-character, I think. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use XP bonuses. I'm not going to use any, like, things that are going to give me automatic level, like level ups. Uh, we're going to do it the hard way. So let's go into the bank. And so you see there's still quite a few people here. Not a ton, but there's just people. All right. So what is this? I don't want to open this because it's got Tombs of Knowledge, which will automatically level me up, which I don't want that to happen. So these are uh, crafting materials that I've gathered on my other characters. 
you can see there's a lot of you know, crafting materials. And this is wardrobe storage. So what is this? This is use, uh, usable. Use this is unusable by your profession. Now, I wear heavy stuff, so I guess these are. <laughs> I don't know. I guess these are things I can skin my armor to look like. So what is this preview? Greetings. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how to do this though. I don't know how to apply weapon skins. Wait, weapon? No, what? I'm sorry. I don't know how to apply skins. So we'll see if we can figure it out real quick. So I kind of would like, let's see what kind of shoulders we got. We got this one. Preview. I think this is kind of what I'm wearing. And then we've got this one preview. I don't know why my preview's not working. Preview. Somehow I screwed up my preview. Unless it's like below me. There it is. Okay, cool. The preview is, I'm such a noob. So here's the preview. And that's kind of a, can I zoom in? It doesn't look like I can zoom in though. It's kind of like got an ornamental carving into the sh into the shoulder. That's kind of neat. So let's go back to heavy. Can we collapse the headgear? Good. So there's preview. That's the ones I had. That's the these really basic ones. There's these with like red. Okay. There's the really cool ones. I got these from doing PvP, I think. Heavy chest preview. Speak quickly. This one, and what's this one look like? This one's nice. And then we've got this one. I don't know where the kitty is. <laughs> this one's not bad. And then there's this last one, right? This one. Really shows the red through. Interesting. And I don't know how to use these, though, guys. So uh, I guess, can I do it? it is it still on my character? I don't really understand how this works. <laughs> so no, it's not. So let's go to player. I think you have to like, let's see, build, required. I don't know what happened. Oh, somebody else, hopefully. <laughs> somebody else is doing something. Here, wardrobe. Oh, shoulders. So it costs money. These changes will cost one transmutation, transmutation charge. And I don't really, I don't really have any. Probably, I like these. I think these are kind of neat looking shoulders. And let's go to. How do I? Oh, so I have. I guess I have nine. I don't know where I even get these from. You gotta pay for this stuff. I hope this isn't like real world cash. <laughs> And let's go to the leggings. So I got like these, these, and these. And of course, I like these the best, probably. And weapon. Whoa, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this one. This one's kind of neat. And then boots. And yeah, my boots are really ugly. These kind of match my armor. I'm kind of digging these sh big shiny ones. <laughs> uh, it's between these here. And these other ones. Let's go to what the leggings. Was these? What was the other ones? Where's the ones that were shiny? Oh yeah, we have to go with this one, which means that with the feet, the boots, we have to go with. So let's close this down. I'm gonna reset. Right, and we. All I'm really gonna worry about is maybe my weapon. Chest. Hmm. That one's actually kind of cool. All right, we're not going to do any of this right now, so I don't want to waste those. I'm sure there's lots of gear we'll get that'll look interesting. All right, so we don't have anything to really put in the bank, so I just wanted to show you guys that's where the bank is. I don't know how many people watching this have actually played Guild Wars. I'm sure you probably all have. And then there's probably, is this a mailbox? This is a guild bank, and I'm not in a guild. 
Let me go back to this bank real quick. And these are material storage, and here's the bank. So is there any bags in here is what I'm really looking for. It doesn't look like it. What is this? Used to construct a flame ram build site? Healing can cannon? <laughs> what is this? A golem banker? Tomb of influence. Adds five accommodations to your account that can be spent at guild vendors. See, look at all these XP bonuses I have. I'm, I'm not going to use any of these, I don't think. What is this? Double click is here to repair broken or damaged armor. Man, I got a... We've got a lot of stuff here. A hero's band? I think this came... I think the hero's band... What is this? Soulbound... Oh, it's Soulbound another character. I was going to say, I thought that maybe came with my account when I first bought the game and bought, like, the the uh, pre pre uh, launch package or whatever. What is this? Like a snack? Hmm. What are these? Transforming me into an animal for 15 minutes. Okay. Double click, double click consume someone like my merchant for 15 minutes. Line you and your allies. Alright, so there's really nothing in here. Alright. Alright, let's just look for quests. Sorry about the delay there, guys. I was just trying to check out what was in the bank. So we don't have any bags right now. I don't know how to run, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and see what this damn thing is, because it's annoying me. Oh, this is because I leveled up. So, upcoming level rewards. So I did level up. That's what that was. I didn't know what that was. Um, yeah, so we're running along. Looking for quests. Looking for some quests. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here, guys. And then I'm going to tweak my computer a little bit. And then I'll be back for video part two. But th we are in the city of... And let's take a the map. This is the Divinity's Reach. But I love the map in Guild Wars 2. It's got a really cool, interesting way of zooming in and out. And all the areas you haven't explored yet are still hidden. But it does show you the level ranges, which is kind of nice. You know, 1525. You know, I'm, this, I'll be in this first area of Queensdale. And then, of course, you can zoom in and see the city. And um, where does it show where I am? I don't know if it... Um, I should be right... Yeah, that's me right here. Right here. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I'll be back in a bit.